Hi, I'm going to make a data sniffer for Isobus machinery. At the job or application layer, data is passed to and fro, and it's that data I'm going to be deserializing. So here's the standard, and here's the structure of the message. Uh, the first four bits of byte one is the command, and then the rest of byte one and byte two is the element, which is like an instance and then byte 3 and byte 4 is the identifier of the data that we are sending and then bytes 5 to 8 is the actual data and here is the information for the parameter group of the process data message so the PDU format is 203 and then the priority varies on the command and the data length is always eight bytes. For an idea of what the end outcome will be, here's the data dictionary for the standard J1939, which is used for large trucks. So here we've got um, an array of SPNs and the SPNs define what the data is. So this particular message has three different types of data. And then we've also got this SPN start bit information, which lets us pull out these three different bits of data. The equivalent for Isobus will be simpler than this because almost all of the data packets are just one number. So if we go to the official website, we can get the data dictionary. Here is the data dictionary. It's not very well structured for whatever reason. So here we have entry number 491, which makes up bytes three and four of the message is for the fuel percentage level. And then here, further down, it tells us that the unit is a percent, the resolution is 0 0.01, and the CAN bus range is from 0 to this large number. And the display range is the CAN bus value scaled down according to the resolution. So, I'm going to pass this file to make it more usable. I'm going to open a Python notebook and have a crack at decoding this text file. So this is my first attempt. So I open up the file and then I start iterating through the lines. And then as each entry starts off with this key, DD entity, I'm going to initialize a object when this key is found. And then I'm merely looking for each of the keys. So unit display range. So the end result of that is a dictionary with each item having a key of its entity number. So entity number one is now an object in this dictionary with a key of one. But it's still not very useful as everything is a string. Um, so next I went on to passing the string values into usable integers and floats. And then when we come to the unit key, if there is a meaningful unit, so if it's not labeled as not defined or not available, then I'm going to flag it as being the type of a number. Now that I've flagged all of the entities that had a valid units item, we can then see which items don't have valid units. So the most common one that comes up is state. A control state is an enum, 
with the first two bits representing the value. So zero is off, one is auto on, two is error, and three is undefined. So that then shortens the list. So now if we look at each one of these, quite disappointingly, we get stuck. The data is not structured enough. I will have to manually go through each one of these and add in what data is needed so that programmatically the CANBUS data can be deserialized. So this is what the ISOBUS CANBUS data looks like. So now I'm going to write some code to pass the raw canvas data into meaningful values using the data dictionary that was created. Here is the code I put together to pass a data packet. This is a data packet taken from the canvas. It is a process data message, as we can see from this uh, parameter group number. And here is the DDI number seven. I've put this into an array that I can then use in a function. So this consume process data function pulls out the element, the command, the DDI, and then it looks up in the data dictionary that was created the relevant items. If we go down to number seven, here we've got actual mass per area application rate, and the units are milligrams per meter squared, number of decimals are zero. So we saw that it was a number. Uh, so using the format of smallest byte first, we can make up the value, and then if we times it to 10 raised to the power of the number of decimals, we can get the correct scaled number. So here's the passed packet. So it was a command number three, which is a value, DDI number seven, which is actual mass per area application rate for element number 135 units per milligrams per meter squared and the value is zero. So here I have a script that is sniffing the CAN bus and detecting a process message. And then it's passing the data using the dictionary that was created from the downloaded text file of DDI entities. So we've got total area value of 60,000 meters squared. And we've got set point mass per area application rate of milligrams per meter squared value of zero. So this could be useful for making a user interface to see what is happening on the ISA bus.